Support for Unbroken is brought to you by HelloFresh. Chef curated recipes based on seasonal farm fresh ingredients delivered to your doorstep every week. Customize weekly menus of nutritious and tasty recipes created by a keen culinary team. Schedule your flexible delivery source from trusted local suppliers and better yet, no food wasted. Have simply delicious meals at home with little to no effort at hellofresh.ca slash unbroken. From This Canadian Life and Halton District School Board, it's Unbroken. One extraordinary story of survival, resilience, and redemption. I'm Kara Braun. The last couple of months, I've been trying to uncover the location of a man that was known for his brutal punishments. He was nicknamed the Bird and was a Japanese POW guard in World War II. In specific, he found joy in hurting a man named Louis Zamperini. Louis is the son of Italian immigrants Anthony and Louise and the brother of Pete. Throughout his life, he accomplished many great things such as becoming an Olympic track runner and a military aviator in World War II. I have had a search through old documentations and talked to eyewitnesses to try to find out what exactly happened to the bird. Now, I am not an expert, but I wanted to share Louis' story because of the determination that he demonstrated in order to stay alive. Before I get into the details of Louis' life and how he ended up being captured by the bird, I want to discuss something that I realized is very important. That is, the strength of human will to be unbroken. Have you ever wondered how far you can be pushed until you break? How much can you physically or mentally take until your body can live no longer? When you sit down and actually think about it, it really depends on the desire you have to live. Imagine being stripped naked, repeatedly beat, taunted and tormented for the rest of your life. Louis had to endure these punishments and the worst part of it all is that the bird never paid for his actions. I asked the teenager what she thinks about this situation. What kinds of things affect you mentally? I honestly do get affected by the smallest things, like getting looked at funny in the halls at school or losing a game in softball. This is Christine, my sister. She is 15. If I was put in Louis' situation, I would definitely die. Christine brings up an important topic of mental illness and self-esteem. It is very important to acknowledge this issue in our society because everyone has the right to live. Louis' story represents that a child who is discriminated based on his Italian ethnicity can overcome bullying and prove to those who doubted him that he deserves to live. I want to discuss this topic because Louis grew up in a time when the Great Depression hit and poverty was a growing issue. In the 1900s, many Italian immigrants, such as Louis' parents, moved to America and it resulted in an increase in prejudice and discrimination. At a very young age, he started smoking and drinking, which escalated into stealing and fighting. I spoke to Sissy Zamperini on Louis' behalf since he died in 2014. What message do Louis want people to hear? Louis would always say, all I want to tell young people is that you're not going to be anything in life unless you learn to commit to a goal. You have to reach deep within yourself to see if you're willing to make the sacrifices. Louis' brother Pete wanted to help him turn his life around, so he forced him to join the track team in school. He trained on a regular basis, and he soon started to win races due to his natural talent and speed. He was nicknamed the Torrance Tornado and shocked his friends and family by making it to the 1936 Olympics in Germany. Sissy said that her father would never give up. He's such an amazing man and he would say, I made it this far and refused to give up because all my life I had always finished the race. Since the 1936 Olympics ended in Germany, World War II struck soon afterwards. Louis trained as Bombardier and after graduating from the Army Flying School, he was commissioned as a second lieutenant. He became good friends with a man named Russell Allen and was stationed in Hawaii on the island of Oahu. In 1943, Louis and his crew were sent on a rescue mission to find a plane that went missing the day before. In flight over the Pacific Ocean, Louis' plane experienced mechanical failures and they crashed. They spent 47 days at sea and there were 11 men on board and only 3 survived. He had to survive off rainwater and occasional birds and fish. This novel actually reminds me of the TV show I Shouldn't Be Alive. It tells extraordinary stories of ordinary people who beat the odds and survive crazy situations that most people would die in. Louis was an inspiration and did not deserve any of this. The bird should have paid for his wrongdoing, so finding out where he hid for so many years would be a relief. Louis showed great strength, and his will to survive when he was lost in the Pacific was truly miraculous. However, how do you make it through the bird's grueling torture? 
coming up this season on Unbroken. I swear, when Louis came back from Japan, he was a complete different person. The bird literally just vanished. Unbroken is produced by Kara Braun.